You must watch over them. But, milady, I can't leave you and the others in the middle of the war. You must. They are more important than I or the rest of us. But there will be no changing my mind, Luke. <sighs> yes, milady. Bring my daughter back as soon as possible. And the others? We must wait until the right time to tell them. As you wish. And Luke? Milady? No one must ever find out about this, even the rest of the kingdom. This will stay between you and the elemental masters. Of course. May the elements be in your favor. Just five more minutes. Come on, it's our first day of high school. <sighs> Aunt Trixie made pancakes. Char, aren't you even a little bit excited? I guess a little bit. Yes! Now come on, or I'll eat old pancakes! Oh no you don't! Oh, good morning girls! Morning mom! Morning Aunt Trixie! So, aren't you too excited? It's your first day of high school. You're gonna get new teachers, new friends, and a boyfriend. Perhaps, if I allow it. Mom. What about you, Charlotte? Hmm? Oh, yeah, I guess I'm excited. I heard that Luna, Kim, and Cole will be going there too. Yeah, that's good. Well, you two better eat up. And sorry that I burnt the pancakes. Uh, they look good. Mmm, delicious. Whoa. Tara, see you later, Char. See you later, Ashley. Hey, Charlotte, over here. Cole. Hey guys, how's it going? It's the first day of school. How do you think it's going? Well, um, I'm okay. Eh, I'm cool. Well, great. So, what you guys doing? Oh, well, Luna and Kim and I were just sharing schedules and seeing what classes we have together. Luna and I have biology and math together. I don't have any classes with them. What do you have? Let me see. Let's see, I have English, History, math, and then biology. Cool, we have history and biology together. And we've got English together. That's good, at least there will be people I know in some of my classes. Well, I guess we'd better go, Kim. 
See you later, guys. See you guys. Bye, guys. Whoa. Where did he? Just sit anywhere. Okay, thanks. It's a pretty big classroom. Hmm? What's going on over there? Take your seats, class. Ugh. I heard about her. She's a sophomore. Her name is Rachel Bolt. Everyone says that she practically rules the school. Is she nice? Get out of my seat, you dolt. But I was here first. Look, you're new here, so let me clear something up for you. This is my school. Got it? Mm-hmm. Now move! Uh. Uh. Ugh, freshman. Does that answer your question? Rachel, don't cause any trouble. Yes, Mrs. Petal. Thank you. Now, class, I'm Mrs. Petal, and I will be your English teacher for the year. Now, please get out your textbooks and turn to page three. So, how do you guys like it so far? Pretty boring. My class is all right. Hmm. The food here is amazing. What? Majesty is approaching. <sighs> Move it, freshman. This is our table. I you don't say anything mean, Ken. Let me handle this. Here, princess. You may have everyone else here wrapped around your pretty little hook, but you don't fool me. How dare you insult me? I'm gonna make you and your little friends' lives here miserable. <sighs> Try me. <sighs> Come on. <sighs> Kim. <sighs> Ouch! You're burning! Yeah, I know. No, I mean your fur is really hot. Well, it's hot in here. That's not what I meant. Charlotte, there's more important things than my fur. Just... Just leave me alone, okay? Just look at them all. Ugh. They think they can just march in here and stand up to me like that? Stealing the cute collie away, too. I sit where I want, say what I want, and date who I want. I'm gonna make their puny little lives here miserable. Mm. The food here is really good. Oh, shut up. Welcome, class. For those of you who don't know, I'm Mr. Johnson, and I will be your algebra teacher. If you are not in the right class, get out. Right. Please
please get out a pencil. I will be giving you a worksheet. You may work in partners. Um, Kim, do you think that maybe we could be... Yes. And here you go. Okay, so um, the first question is... Um... So, um, question 28. What does... Huh? Um... Kim? What is the slope of the equation 3x plus 10? Kim? So, I think that it... Kim? Ugh, what? I'm so sorry, but I, I think something hit me. Are you talking about a spitball? What? Luna, who shot a spitball at you? I, uh, I don't know. <sighs> oh, gosh. <laughs> awesome. Why are they doing that? Luna, it's not your fault. But... but I... Uh... Luna... <laughs> Luna! <laughs> oh, did we make the widow kitty mad? You can hurt me all you want, but you can't touch my friends. Oh, um, she's really mad now. What are you gonna do, little kitty? First, I'm gonna claw your fur out. Then, I'm gonna... Oh, would you look at that? Mr. Flag told that joke about the fly in the trash can. <laughs> oh my gosh. I know. That was so funny. <laughs> oh, hey guys. How's it going? Just come on. Let's go. What happened? Her Majesty happened. Come on. Let's go. So what happened? <sighs> Rachel shot spitballs at Luna. Oh my gosh. Luna, it's okay, it wasn't her fault. It wasn't? No, of course not. Uh, guys, you might want to come look at this. It's raining, but how? Today we are here with scientist Bill Trent. Dr. Trent. Earlier today, the weather forecast said a 10% chance of rain for the whole city. But it's raining over the school, only over the school, and it's pouring. How is it possible? Well, um... The news is desperate for a story, so what? Keep watching. Well... Sometimes rain can still come at a very low chances, but what I don't understand is how on earth it could only be in one area. It's only raining over the high school, correct? Oh, I just don't understand how it's possible. There are only clouds gathered over the high school, and not anywhere else in the city. I just don't understand it! Thank you, Dr. Trent. Well, there you have it, folks. Okay, that's a little weird. Yeah, it's only raining over our school. Wow, great job pointing that out, genius. <sighs> Guys, I know it's weird, but we have to figure out how to deal with the Rachel problem. It's just so frustrating. 
Whoa, where'd that wind come from? Who cares? Guys, I think we should just go home. Good idea. It's cold out here anyways. Well, see you guys later. Bye. Come on, Luna. Let's go. Since we live in the same neighborhood, I can walk you home. See you guys tomorrow.